This is a quick tutorial on how to make a natural log of k versus 1 over t graph and how to use Excel's Linus function. Here I made up some arbitrary values for 1 over t and natural log of k. To begin, select all the values, then click insert chart. Select chart types. Scroll down until you see scatter. Click on the scatter plot and insert. So this is our scatter plot. We want to find the best fit line next. So select advanced edit. Before we move on, make sure you give your graph a meaningful title. So, figure one with caption. So the caption should be a concise summary that describes what's going on on your graph. Let's scroll all the way down until we see trend line. So we want to show the best fit line. Click on the drop-down menu and linear. So now the graph is showing you the best fit line. We also want the linear equation. So next to label, click the drop-down menu, select use equation. Now the graph is showing you the linear equation, y equals mx plus b, m being the slope, which is this value here, plus b, b is the y-intercept. So the y-intercept in this case is negative 154.545. Next, check the box for show r square. We're doing a linear regression analysis here, and we you want to show r squared to prove that there's a strong correlation between your x and y values. r squared values always ranges from 0 to 1. As your value, r squared value is very close to 1, that means you have a very strong correlation between your x and y values. As your r squared value approaches 0, that means there's no significant correlation between your x and y values, which is not something you want on your graph. In this case, it's 0.854, which is not too bad. It's pretty close to 1. Click Update. So now you have your graph with a title, with all the data points, a best fit line, a linear equation and the r square value. So the next thing we need to find is the Linus values. So some people say pronounce Linus, some people pronounce the Linus, whichever way you want to pronounce it, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, let's select an empty 2 by 3 area. Remember, whenever you use a function on Excel, you need to type the equal sign first. And in this case, let's type Linus. So we can select the Linus function. So the first thing you need to select is all the y values, which in this case, our graph is natural log of k versus 1 over t, so the natural log of k will be all your y values. So let's select them, comma, then all the x values, which are the ones under 1 over t, comma, type true, comma, true. Now you need to click Control, Shift, and Enter at the same time on your computer. If you do it right, assuming you do it at the same time, then 
this whole thing will change to array formula with whatever you typed before and click enter. Now it shows you a lot of crazy values but we only care about the first six. So if you turn to page 103 in the lab manual under the sh shaded area they will sh show you the meaning of each value. So this value is the slope, as you can see in the linear equation. Right next to it is intercept, specifically y-intercept. As you can see on the linear equation, this value is uncertainty in slope, and this value is uncertainty in intercept. This value is r squared, as you can see on the graph. And the very last one is standard error in y. Hope you enjoyed this video.